More than 2 million people a year die from AIDS. That's why this weekend experts and scientists from around the world are meeting to find a way to save more people, mainly through prevention. But there's also a group calling into question the accepted wisdom of where this deadly disease actually comes from. And they're angry no one's listening. RT Sarah Firth is following the story. In just a few days' time, the 18th International AIDS Conference will begin here in Vienna, bringing together around 25,000 policymakers, scientists, community workers, activists and people living with HIV to discuss the latest developments in this field. But right now, there's a two-day conference going on, looking at alternative definitions and treatments of HIV and AIDS. When the AIDS epidemic first hit the headlines in the 1980s, it caused widespread panic. For Arthur Singer, who was one of the first diagnosed, it was a terrifying experience. It was 68, 1968, where it was just, the information was just magazines, headlines. AIDS kills and blah, 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 the homosexual disease and blah, blah, blah. So being HIV, one of the first being diagnosed here, it was surely a big hit for me. Yeah. Because you get depressed and you think you're going to die. Since the discovery of AIDS three decades ago, it's estimated over 25 million people have died from the disease, with over 60 million people infected in that time, according to the United Nations. U.S. scientists identified HIV as the cause and developed a successful test to detect its presence. But this has itself been the subject of scientific disagreement. Some believe there are different causes of AIDS, not just HIV and cast doubt on the standard AIDS test, which is based on detecting the presence of the HIV virus. Whilst you might think there are only a small number of scientists who doubt the HIV AIDS theory, here at the conference is a list of around 2,500 names, all of scientists who challenge the classic definition. Some too have different views as to treatment. Arthur and his doctor use alternative therapies to conventional AIDS fighting drugs. So strong is his belief in these other treatment methods that he's written a book, 23 Years Positive, based on his experiences. I was like, oh yes, finally somebody does have an explanation that makes sense. And I can live, as I can live with that truth, to say. It's the only truth I've found so far. Those dissenting from the conventional view that HIV causes AIDS so they can face open hostility from their scientific peers. Not agreeing with the mainstream HIV theory of AIDS has even been compared to Holocaust denial and called a crime against humanity. A science that is alive has to have the permission to question a certain model of thinking, a certain theory of thinking. You know? You don't bring in here a dying patient so that we have to act immediately and give him something. We are discussing. Yeah? We are scientists and medical doctors. Why should we not be able to discuss? I'm very astonished that the reaction is sometimes so aggressive. Now, it's thought that the official AIDS 2010 conference will be one of the most widely watched AIDS events in the world. Now, we know some of the topics that are likely to be discussed will be access to treatment as well as new technologies and HIV and injection drug use. Now, organisers have titled the conference Rights Here, Right Now, which they say emphasises the central importance of protecting and promoting human rights as a prerequisite to successful response to the problem.